In this video, we will configure VLAN and sub interfaces and checkpoint security gateway. This is our target and this is our lab. In this lab, this is our LAN switch where three VLANs are configured. So keep in mind it can be many VLAN in real world it can be many VLAN like HR, IT, sales and so many other department. But in this case, we just take three VLAN. So VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. VLAN 10 subnet is 192.168.10. VLAN 20 subnet is 192.168.20. And VLAN 30 subnet is 192.168.30. And as an example, PC1 is 10.10. PC2 is 20.20. And PC3 is 30.30. .30. These system gateway will be this security gateway. So we will configure three VLAN here and we will assign the gateway IP 192.168.10.1 here and also 20.1 here and also 30.1 here. Okay. This checkpoint when IP will be 172.29.129.1 here on this interface ES1 and the gateway will be 254. It means we will configure default route to send each and every traffic to 254 means 172, 29, 129 and 254. This is our management by default. We already configure management IP. So management IP is 192.168.11450 and smart console is uh, installed in my system, which is connected directly through management cloud to this firewall. Okay, we will configure VLAN here and these interfaces will be assigned to the uh, proper VLAN like VLAN 10. So we will assign 0 slash 1 VLAN 20. We will assign 0 slash 2 and VLAN 30. We gonna assign 0 slash 3 because these three PC belong to different VLAN. So these are the detail which I already told you PC1 IP is 10.10, 20.20, 30.30. Management IP is uh, 11450 and VLAN 10 subnet is 10.0, VLAN 20 is 20.0 and uh, VLAN 30 is 30.0. Management subnet is this one. Uh, this is not management. This is uh, sorry, internet. Internet subnet is this one. Management is 192, uh, 168.114. This is our management. Okay, and the gateway for our PC, which is VLAN 10, 20, 30, these should be 10.1, 20.1, 30.1, one, which we will create and security gateway. Smart console is install 114.2 switches. I will use so this is the switch I will use. This is IOL IOU switch, and I will use PC as a docker. You can use any other PC, Windows 7, Windows XP, whatever you like. And the internet, I'm using net cloud and the switches. I will create three VLANs and I will make ethernet zero slash zero. This one as a trunk because we have many VLANs so that they can carry the traffic to the security gateway. So this interface will be trunk. So these are the thing which I want. So let's create a topology like this. So let me go to Eve and I need security gateway. So let's take this one and just save. So this is our security gateway. Okay. What else I need? I need uh, one switch and three dockers. So let me go to node IOL and you can take any switch. So suppose let me change the name to LAN switch and let's change the icon to switch by default is router so it's better to change them and how many interfaces we have so i believe it's enough because we need four interfaces one two three four so by default four if you need more so you can add these here but it's okay we need four so this is our lane switch now i need three dockers so go to dockers and from here choose the docker gui server okay and let me put PC, PC1, okay, and change the icon to, let's go to client, this is our client, and save. 
okay so this is pc1 and i need another pc go to docker and here pc2 and change the icon to client and let's go to docker and now i need third docker as well so let's go to docker change this to pc3 and change this to client and let's take this one the same so these are my three dockers by the way i need to verify that i choose the correct image or not because it's a firefox it's okay but it's better to take this one okay and let's change this one as well even firefox is okay we just need a browser to uh, check so we can change okay so let me go back and double check it's okay yeah so now i have three system which belong to different vlan okay and right click and make them okay next thing i need a network go to network and take a management cloud and type here smart console and take this desktop pc as a icon so this is my smart console which will be connected to the ethernet zero which is a management interface you can say and let me start this one by the way let's take quickly another network cloud in this case i will take net cloud which provide internet and professional edition so internet and let me change the icon to something which is like a internet so this is our internet and let me connect the first interface to for internet and let's connect this second interface to our switch and the switch 0-0 interface and let me start this one because it's taking time to boot up and until that we will configure these switches and let's connect to pc1 okay and let's connect the second interface to pc2 okay and let's connect this one to pc3 okay right so now all these pcs are connected and what else we need now i need the ip schema which we decide so management and also i need to type these okay so what i can do let me start this one i don't want to start these i need to configure and assign ip then i can use okay and also let uh, make them a style and let's make this one as well edit style and you can change them to like this okay so let me like this okay so these are our three pc which ca configure now the ips so text and let me write down 192.168 10.0 slash 24 and 192.168 20.0 slash 24 and 192.168 30.0 slash 24 and let me select and make them bold and let's give them any color so this is our three subnet different subnet okay and now if i go to text and control 192.168.10.10 so this is our pc1 ip so let's assign them okay duplicate so 10 dot and let's change this to this should be 20.20 20. sorry let me drag them properly so this is 20 and this one is 30 we have different vlan and it's better to type vlan as well so we can type vlan 30 okay and we can change the color to this one and let me go so i type vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 is better so that we know which vlan this pc belong to so this is vlan and let's vlan 20 
and let's change them to bold and change the color to this one and this one is VLAN 10 so let me make them bold and also let's change the color to this one so we have VLAN 10 VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 okay these are our three system which belong to different VLAN now what else we need to know what will be the IP here in VLAN so keep in mind uh, we're gonna assign 1.1 1 .1. it means 10.1 let me write down all 10.1 20.1 and 30.1 so I gonna assign these three because I will create three sub interfaces here it means three VLAN here so this will be here okay and what about the other side so the other side sorry and the other side dot one here we gonna assign one here and what will be the subnet on this side so let me duplicate this one and let me write down the subnet 172 29 129.0 slash 24 this is the WAN subnet okay and if you need the gateway so gateway last IP is this one let me write down 254 okay so this is 254 and now let's go to management so let me duplicate this one Management is 192.168.114.2 is my system where I install smart console. So this is smart console IP and let's duplicate and assign management IP on this side. So management IP is by default we configure as 50. Okay and let me write down like this. Okay so it will be simple to understand. okay what else now I need to write down here so this interface will be trunk okay between switch and this one while this one this is our van so this is our van and this side this interface has to be trunk on this side okay so that they can carry the traffic up all VLAN and what else we need to do that's it so in next video what we will do we will configure first time configuration of this checkpoint security gateway and after that we will configure the interfaces and then we will configure the PC IPs and then we will uh, install smart console and after smart console we will allow the traffic we will make a net policy also so we need one access policy to allow the traffic we need net so that they can uh, convert these to the IP. We will configure basically pet which is which is called here hide net. So we will configure hide net and then at the end we will verify the traffic from PC1, PC2 and PC3 to the internet is going or not. And this topology normally you will see in real world normally. I know there will be a different checkpoint and distributed deployment. The one I'm doing now is a standalone deployment. Normally there will be other two firewall and one security management server, but almost the concept is similar. So this was our topology. Okay.